Hey everyone, I wanna show you how you can use My Stream Timer, which is an awesome countdown application for OBS, but combine it with StreamYard for custom countdowns. So tune in. Hey everyone, James here. I wanted to talk to you today about using My Stream Timer to do custom countdowns inside of StreamYard. StreamYard is a really cool tool that enables you to stream to different sources like YouTube and Twitch. Uh, and it's really nice. I'm using the studio here. Uh, it's really, really nice to be able to kind of like flip around different views, um, remove people, add people to the scene uh, over here. So we're gonna actually show you how to do that today. Now inside of StreamYard, there are some different countdown clips that you can use. So specifically there's this 30 second countdown, which is like, totally fine. You can use that, but often you may need more custom approaches there. Um, what I've been doing is I've been creating my own custom clips over here inside of Camtasia and having custom countdowns, but I'm going to show you how to use OBS, my stream timer to do any amount of countdown or count up that you want. Now, my stream timer is an application that you can download from the app store. This is the latest version, so it may not be available, but it's going to work exactly the same as the current version. And what you're able to do is specify how many minutes or countdown time that you want, and you can pause and do anything that you want. So that's this right here. Now, what's nice about this is that you can specify a file and you can copy the file location over here. And when you hit start, you're going to see there's a little countdown here. So what we're going to do is open up OBS over here. Now, OBS is a free application that enables you to stream, of course, to YouTube, Twitch, other things, but it's got a lot built into it. Now, one of the nice things about OBS is its customization that it gives you and the ability to turn whatever you're seeing inside of OBS into a virtual camera. So what I can do is add a scene, which is a bunch of different sources. So we're gonna go ahead and add a text source here, and I'm just gonna say countdown, there we go. And to use my stream timer, which you can do on Mac or PC, you can say read from file and then hit browse. And I have different videos on how to do this, but it's gonna basically show you that here's the file that you wanna read from. Now you can come in and you can center this anywhere that you want to, to put it. Now it's still not inside of, you know, StreamYard at all. However, if I come over into here and I hit start again, we're gonna see that it's going to um, update in real time over here inside of OBS. So you can see the countdown basically one to one. So let's go ahead and stop it one more time. And what it's doing is writing that file to disk over and over again, and OBS is sitting there listening for it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in specifically to OBS and hit start virtual camera. It's right over here. This is a new feature that they added. So I'm gonna hit start virtual camera, and you gotta start it up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into StreamYard and open just another tab over here. And we're gonna enter the broadcast studio, but instead of using my camera, we're gonna go ahead and turn off um, my, you know, my microphone, I don't need my microphone, but we're gonna use the camera as the OBS virtual. Uh, pretty cool, over here. And you can set the different resolutions. If you want that to be 1080p, it'll output it here. So that's really cool. Then I'm gonna go ahead and enter the broadcast studio. So we can see that I have multiple me. So if I add myself here, that's pretty cool. You can go ahead and turn off that. And what I'm gonna do is remove myself from the scene. Look at that. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Because I am specifically um, have the startup here. I can mute that microphone. So now that's sort of the mode that you'd want to put it in ahead of time. Now check this out. As I go over and hit start, here's what's really cool is OBS is now using its sort of scene as the output here into StreamYard specifically. So you can combine my stream timer and OBS and StreamYard to create your different countdowns. You can add more minutes into here too, so you can add that up. You can customize what it looks like, and you can also have count ups and count downs. So you can use OBS combined specifically with StreamYard and MyStreamTimer to do custom countdowns inside of here. Now, a few caveats here is that obviously this is a black screen, so it's nothing super special. Um, however, what you can do is you could customize this to be whatever you want. 
So if I actually look at my other scenes that are inside of here, I have all sorts of different scenes such as webcam scenes that have different overlays and outputs into them. I have my desktop, I have a be, back, be right back screen. So anything that's inside of here will show up inside of here. So that's actually kind of cool. You could use and combine OBS and StreamYard with this new virtual cam in those different ways. And then when you're done, you just remove it and you put yourself back and that's it. So remember though, that you want to use OBS specifically separate. So don't go in and um, add yourself and remove yourself, your cameras, just use it in the specific scene collection for the Be Right Back. Or like I said, if I go into my um, StreamYard one here, we're going to see my starting soon. So only use it for starting soon. That way your webcams aren't um, competing. And then you can say stop virtual camera and you're done. Now, if I add myself back in, we should go ahead and be able to toggle myself. There we go. And I'm back. There you go. Now, the only reason I needed to toggle myself is because I had changed to that OBS scene and that also had my webcam in it and things like that. So just be kind of aware of where you're adding yourself and where you're moving yourself. But that's all you got to do. Add yourself in as a guest, use the webcam as that, and mute it, and you can do as many custom countdowns as you want. I hope that you found this really nifty. I'll link to my other My Stream Timer videos down there. Um, and uh, also, be sure to subscribe and ding that notification bell. And you're interested in more live streaming or other things, check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash James Montemagno, where I live stream coding and a bunch of other cool things. But I hope you found this really nifty. And until next time, thanks for watching.